Okay, there are two ways that you can graph your data. One is a line graph, and one is a bar chart. Either is fine. So I'm going to show you both possibilities. Um, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then the bar chart. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so in both cases, I'm going to use photosynthesis on my y-axis. Um, and so it's going to be the number of disks floating per minute. So that's my rate. And then um, f for the line graph, my maximum, uh, let's see, uh, light intensity will be on my x-axis. We measured that in lumens. And my maximum is at 1270, and I start at zero. So I'm going to go ahead and have every line be 125. All right, and then for the rate, the maximum rate that we had was 0.13, so I'll go ahead and um, make each of these lines. So to figure out my scores, um, I'm going to round this up, so that'll be a maximum of point, 0 0.15, and then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 segments. So each one will be 0 0.03. I just divided that value by 5. So 0 0.03, 0 0.06, 0 0.09, 0 0.10, 0 0.12, and then 0 0.15. So now we're ready to graph um, those averages that we came up with. So for a lumen of 0, the average was 0. So that's going to be right there. At 25, uh, we had an average of 0 0.06, so right here. At 430, we had an average of 0.19. Zero, I'm sorry, 0 0.19. So about about here, um, and then for six fifty, we had uh, for six fifty, we had zero point one three. So about right here. And then for 1270, we had 0 0.1. So here. And then if we were to draw a best fit line, just kind of um, moving those, the line between all of those points, maybe we have something kind of like this. Okay, just kind of eyeball it and put the best fit line equally distant between all of your points. Okay, now let's look at your bar chart. For the bar chart, we're going to um, label everything the same. So photosynthesis has the same um, values. So it's going to stop at 1.5 
and then each one will be 0 0.03. And the label would still be photosynthesis number of discs per minute. And then for the x-axis, it's still light intensity in lumens. And then this time, we're not going to put values on each of the tick marks. Um, they don't have to be equidistant. That's just where we're going to draw the bar. So we have 0. 25, 430, 650, and 1270. Zero stays at zero, so we'll just draw kind of a bar right there. At 25, we had an average of 0 0.06, so we'll draw that up there. At 430, we had an average of 0 0.016, somewhere down there. At 650, we had an average of 0 0.13. And then at 1270, we had a value of 0 0.1. And we have to put in those standard deviations. So for the means, the 0 has 0 standard deviation. There is no variation. The 25 was 0 0.06. Okay, so we go up 0 0.06 is 0.12. So we go up that much. And we would also go down that much. Uh, 430 was 0 0.019, 0, 0.01, so here to here, 650 was 0 0.1, so that would have been way up there somewhere. And almost down here. Actually, about right there. And then 1270 had zero standard deviation. Okay. Um, and so that's where that would have finish, finished at. Um, and, you know, you could have put a standard deviations on your points technically as well if you wanted to. Um, because they are averages, I just haven't done that here, but it would be the same the same kind of eye bars that you see in the bar chart. And then don't forget your figure description for your figure. And again, remember you're just doing one of these. So if this is your figure, you know, it might be linear relationship. between light intensity and the rate at which leaf disks floated, or something along those lines. Um, and then your, you know, points are averages. some sort of description, and then you're done.